Okay, this is worksheet 5.4, and in this video I'm going to do number 9 and number 11. Number 9, the question you're being asked is, what is the y-intercept of the equation's graph? Here's your equation. We know that the y-intercept has an x and a z value, both of 0. So if we plug 0 in for x and for z, we can calculate what the y-intercept would be. So here we have negative 5y equals 30, which means that y equals negative 6. So the y-intercept of the equation's graph would be at negative 6. Written as a point, it would be 0, negative 6, 0. All right, let's take a look at number 11. Here we're given some information, and the question we're being asked to find is if Juan buys one cookie, one muffin, and one donut, and pays with a 20, how much change will he receive? So in order to answer this question, we need to figure out how much a cookie, a muffin, and a donut cost so that we can find out what his total bill was. So we have three variables here. We have muffins, donuts, and cookies. Let's see if we can write a system of equations to represent this. So he buys one muffin, two cookies, and a donut, and pays $6. He buys three muffins, one cookie, and two donuts for eight fifty. dollars And I'm going to go ahead and just change everything to cents so I don't have to deal with any decimals. And then we'll go back at the end and change it back to dollars and cents. The last statement is that he buys one muffin, three cookies, and two donuts and pays $9.50. So we need to solve this system of three equations. Um, you can choose whichever variable you want to eliminate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go with the m. First, if we pair up the first two equations, I need to multiply this first equation by negative 3. So that gives me negative 3m minus 6c minus 3d equals negative 1800. Okay, adding those first two together, we get negative 5c minus d. <clears throat> um, equals negative 950. So here we have one equation where the m is eliminated. Okay, I'm just going to label that step one. Step two is to do the same process but combine a different pair of equations and eliminate the m again. So I'm going to go ahead and take the first and the last equation, the original equations there. That means to eliminate the m, I need to multiply one of them by a negative 1. So I'm going to multiply this one by a negative. So that last equation becomes negative m minus 3c minus 2d equals negative 950. So adding those together, we get negative c minus d equals negative 350. <clears throat> Alright, the third step here is going to be to change or combine the two equations we came up with in steps 1 and 2 so that we can solve for C and D. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the D's here, but I need to multiply the second equation by a negative 1. So that second equation becomes positive C plus D equals 350. So here I get negative 4c <clears throat> equals negative 600. Dividing both sides by 4, I get c equals 150. So remember, we changed things to cents, so this would be equivalent to $1.50 for the cookie. All right, the next step here is going to be to go back and solve for d. Here in this equation, I'm just going to plug back in. Negative C minus D equals negative 350. That would give me negative D equals negative 200. So D is 200, which is $2. And then lastly, I need to solve for M. So my fifth step here is to go back to the original equations and choose any of those to plug back into. So I'm just going to choose the first one, m plus 2c plus d equals 600. So 
So that's m plus 500 equals 600. So m is 100 or a dollar. All right, so let's go back and look at the question that we're being asked here. <clears throat> so the question we're being asked is if he buys one cookie, one muffin, and one donut. So let's add up the total cost if we had one of each. So that would be two plus one plus $1.50, two, three, four, fifty. All right, his bill is $4.50, but it says that he pays with the $20 bill. How much change will he receive? So I need to calculate $20 minus the actual charge of $4.50. So he will get change of $15.50.